My name is Delphine for Wendell Buford. I'm a photographer based in Brooklyn, New York. I've been shooting for over 15 years now. In a Time of Change is a series of black and Latino males. It's actually one black male and one Latino or brown male. And it's about looking at where will our men be in this time of change? As an institution, the Caribbean Culture Center, African Diaspora Institute, and MACADA, the Museum of Contemporary African Diaspora and Arts, are collectively, I think, interested in the education of young black youth and young Latino youth. Um, and also, um, these institutions are very interested in the education overall of our society. I think that this exhibition is very important because it's taking a critical look at what our young men are being taught in high schools um, and not just high schools but just in, um, in, in, their, in the school system overall and also look at how they can take agency in their own lives um, when we choose to invest in them and place the tools that they need in their hands to create a brighter future for themselves. I wondered what would happen if you, if you took young people Changed our educational systems, I mean really changed them, um, revolutionized them, taught young people about who they were, um, their real histories, and empowered them through education. What would happen? Did this series with one male who is my son, I started with him, and he was around 10, 11 at the time, and I shot him in these different environments that um, kind of conflicted with him being a, a young male reading a book. It was an interesting experience because I was exposed to a lot of new books and texts that I had never seen before. And as we, look, as we took the photographs, I learned more about them. Well, I put some of the texts are very, you know, they look at our society in a very critical way to make us think. And there are also some spiritual texts. I want the people to look at it and just think, like think about it. What do we do? What does this mean? Like what does education mean? What does change mean? What does growth mean for our young men? And not just our young men. The reason why I chose the young men is because I think that young men represent a foundation in our society. And if they have it together, then we all have it together, and that's everybody, that regardless of your race. I think that the upliftment of especially black and brown boys is the upliftment of a full society. It means a lot. Since a lot of um, black boys are born into circumstances that don't la allow them to pursue their dreams as easily as they want to, it seems as if like that's basically what the problem is, and because of that they don't strive to learn as much as they should if they don't. I think that it was great that President Obama was elected because it shows that that maybe that we're moving away from a lot of the racial stereotypes, but I still think that if people think that just because we have a black president means that everything's going to get better, I still think that that's wrong because nothing's going to change if we don't want to change it. I want people to come. I want them to look at these images. I want them to feel challenged. I want them to think about things that they can actually do. I think that education is a very critical issue um, right now that we're being faced with as a society. And it's critical to how I even see the arts and what the arts are meant for and how we can utilize art as a powerful tool to enlighten, inspire uh, people to ameliorate their situations in life. And I think that that's why an exhibition like In a Time of Change is so important and why we should come together as a community to support the work of artists like Delphine from Wendell Buford. It's the first show that I'm doing conceptual photography where it's kind of like you're looking and figuring out on your own what this is about. I don't want to say too much about what each image represents because I kind of just played with the titles of the photo of the books and um, juxtaposed that against certain conditions in the background. So I would like for people to just really look at it and, uh, and discover things about the photos that I didn't even know and that's the beauty of conceptual art.
hopefully leave with the message of, you know, being motivated to do something.